In this video, we will go over the basic concepts in database management. Data is an asset to organizations, like their other assets, such as human resources, machinery, and buildings. Data counts as an asset because it can create value for organizations. For example, data can tell how an organization is performing, and it will also help set appropriate strategies for the growth and success of the organization in the future. To have access to data, it has to be stored permanently to be able to retrieve and update it when it is necessary. Database stores data from various departments such as inventory, sales, marketing, and human resource in an organized fashion. A database management system or DBMS is a software platform that lies between users and the database, such as SQL Server, Microsoft Access, and Oracle. It provides users with features to create, read, update, and delete data in a database. A relational database stores data in logically related tables, allowing users to manipulate data stored in data tables. The primary concepts of the database include table, field, key, and relationship. A table stores information about an object or person, such as customer, order, and item. In a database, each table contains information about a single entity. Fields are the characteristics associated with an entity. For example, a customer table can be described by customer number, first name, last name, street, city, state, zip code, and phone number. A record is an instance of an entity. For example, a row including all attributes of a customer is called record in the customer table. If there are 100 customers in the table, there will be 100 records in the table. So in short, Attribute or field refers to the columns in tables and record refers to the rows of the table. Primary and foreign keys are used to create logical relationships among various entities within a relational database. A primary key is a field or group of fields that uniquely identifies a given record in a table. For example, SSN is used by the federal government to identify employees and their records. In organizations, a unique employee ID is defined to identify all data associated with their employees. The primary key helps users to retrieve their intended record from a large data table. Foreign keys are used to link tables with the same fields. For example, each customer can make several orders at the store, so there is a one-to-many relationship between the customer table and the order table. In this relationship, customer is the parent table, but order is the child table. So the linking field in the parent table will be the primary key, and the linking field in the child table is going to be the foreign key. The field acting as the foreign key must have a corresponding value in the parent table. 